Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching you and members of the community to help you improve. Today, we're looking at the How to Clutch series, a series we're going to do every single week where we take multiple end games and we break down specifically just the end games, talk about rotations, talk about what gunfights to take, both for myself, from pros, and from members of the community. If you guys enjoy the style of gameplay where I help you improve at Warzone, make sure to drop a like on this video. It means the world, especially for a new channel. This is the seventh video in the first week and actually the first video with the new setup. Hope you guys like the new stream room. And uh, without further ado, let's get into today's video of coaching um, the Iceman Isaac Academy. So here we are for this video. What the premise is, uh, at least for this first clutch scenario, is I'm playing with Bread and Dracota. This is in a custom game lobby, so rotations and early game discipline matters the most. So what we were doing right here is we were kind of posted up. We were really on a hard regain here, trying to figure out where to go, and the zone just dropped and showed us that it's going to be right there. So me, Breadman, and Dracota have to make a decision of where we're going to rotate. So here's what we decide to do. We're trying to figure out where our next piece of cover is inside of the next zone. We've got a couple options. We got this right here, this building, but we have to make a cross through no man's land, so that's not really worth it. We have this shed over here, but frankly, once again, you have to make a cross, and it's not super, super safe. So what we decide to do is take this little third story or second story building and hold on to that. And we use a UAV, and we've been holding on to it specifically for the rotation so we could rotate safely, and that's exactly what we do. So... Clutch, late games especially, I'm very, very directive with my teams. Being an in-game lead is one of the things I do best. And I'm like, is everyone ready? I hear the readies. Like, breach and clear. So we're focusing on power positioning here. I'm giving comms out to my teammate. I'm making sure I'm not overextending. I'm shutting the doors behind me so I have audio cues. And then we start holding power position. Okay, me and Dracota are holding this. Notice, one of the best things you can do is delegate amongst your teammates what you need to do. Listen to these comms out of me. Hey, Brad, you can do your peeking shit, okay? Me and Dracota are holding this. So I'm basically telling Brad, like, hey, you can do your peeking stuff, which is basically where he's, like, looking through different windows. He's got a sniper. He might be able to do something to get some peeks. But me... I'm really focused on, um, I'm really focused on making sure the team is delegated so we're not going to, you know, leave an angle open. I'll move my webcam so you can see my other comms. Okay. Dakota, I'm on this heady right They're here. They're going to come through here. They're going to come through here. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we like might that. honestly actually all have to hold this. So yeah. we start, we start making that comm right based off the fact that we've got all this. of these red dots okay. that are going to be pushing us in. Right here, you see. Come through here. They're gonna come There's a great head glitch Thank you can hold right here. Okay. Can you crouch yeah. and see, Isaac, it, it, so I can look over your shoulder? Uh, yes, yes. Bread, if you put it, put it down like right here. Yeah. Moving. So okay. it's behind the cover. Otherwise, they're going to shoot it out. So one of the things that we were also doing during this setup phase was talking about what utility we have to use during, uh, you know, the rest of the gunfights. So I'm like, hey, does anyone have dead silence? Armor boxes. One thing I found out is Bread has a trophy system. Just watch our back. I don't think anyone's going to push below. Okay, yeah. Dracota, you pre-aim that. If they come through here, I'm watching stairs for now. Okay? Brad, you just get yep. ready for with trophy. Yep. Honestly, those things last like three minutes. You might just pop it now. I'm not going to be able to pop see it now you, so you don't animate you're standing it. in front of me. I, I, copy, 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 copy. I'll crouch. I'm so, as you can see there, I'm delegating. Here's the line of sight I have covered. I'm watching these stairs. Dracota's watching the door. Bradman's holding an off angle. And then I also just, just go ahead and delegate. Hey, let's go ahead and get the trophy system down. People are going to be pushing through. If they start spamming utility, it could ruin this entire thing. Trophy systems last a while. Let's go ahead and set it down and make sure right, we're good to go, go there. Yep. They have to right now. So we see the zones coming in. We know they have to push through. Well. I'm being disciplined because I know people could push underneath us before I just stare at this yeah, door. I'm watching, I'm watching lower. They're pushing through the doors. They're with coming. You, with you. Setting charge. Do you want to pre-aim it and I'll just get the stun ready? Setting charge. Yeah, I'm pre-aiming it. I'm, I got the stun ready. Huge. Nice. So, really nice job. Dakota made a great call there with getting no. that stun. No. And now we're focused on the next rotation. We knew from earlier there was one guy in the shed. Yeah, yeah for sure. From that UAV. And we're just playing smart, playing our angles, making sure we're not overextending. Even here, I'm anticipating someone being here. So I'm clearing it as if I expect someone to be here, checking my closed corners. Uh, you, can, you can shoot this guy through the wall if you wanted to. He's right there in the corner. Is he? Below might be... Oh. I, I alert sniper, sniper! 
Sniper! Oh, calm down. <laughs> so we are playing in a custom lobby. It is ruthless. I try to like say with a sense of urgency, there's a sniper. I had high alert because Ghost wasn't allowed in this tournament. And I'm basically deciding right here that like... Wait, Brad, they might come. There's still a possibility that someone's going to come through this door. We haven't cleared out the underside of the building, and that's exactly what happens. No I hit, throw no a little hit. pop stun. Watch out for get another high alert. I'm trying not to get sniped. Just we're gonna jump off the side. backside. Okay, jump off the backside. Come with and me. I'm being very directive. Hey, this is what we're doing. This is the play we're gonna make because I know that these guys are gonna be coming out of this door. And I basically jump down, start full sending. Brett's a little bit behind me, but I get one huge one knock on blast. And I'm not even worried about calming here because Dracota is being a great third person right now. Yes, he died, but he's giving very essential comms. Hey, one's cracked, one's down, down other one's right there. Live the corner still on the live bank. Let's go, Bread. In the one story, remember. And this is one of the greatest clutches I've ever seen. Let's go, Bread. So, Bread knows he can push in because he has a stim. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stim if you need. Find some munitions box. So you can play even longer. There's three teams left. Train cars are safe. Train cars are safe. And I'm trying to calm to him that these train cars over here are safe. So he could have like stayed behind that immediate cover instead of just this little thin wall, which they could swing around pretty easy. But fortunately, there's one other squad causing a little bit of chaos. <laughs> one minute left on the train. You have zone, you have zone, you have zone. Don't even... the rest... Dracota, once again, super heads up call by him. Hey, we've got the zone. Let's rotate early. They're going to have to pull. All of this is no man's land that they're going to have to push through. If Bread's able to use this wall behind him as cover while they just killed that guy, then we're going to be able to make a lot of progress and just get easy holds. All about positioning, all about early callouts, all about early rotations. 1v2. And notice, none of this has been like crazy gun skill or anything yet, right? Everything has just been very deliberate about expecting the enemy's rotations based off the information that we have. Ready gets kind of caught right there. Great little flick there. He's peeking where he expects people to be. Notice how he instantly peeks over to the right. He's holding this angle. He's not aiming down sight, right? Just focusing on there and just tunnel visioning because someone could come through right here. So he's holding, not even with his crosshair placement right here, but like he's holding in a way that he can keep this angle and this angle because there's only two places that they can come from. He spots him. You can see the little flare right there. Instantly gets down, holds the most disgusting heady possible. Other one itself. I'm going to have to have my editor put in some work right there, but insane plays by Bread. The play is life, player angles, and play power positions against the best players in the world. One of the best clutches I've seen. We've seen plenty of gameplay from Bread on here. Um, but even notice, me and Dracota were out of the fight, constantly giving good comms, and it's kind of a war of attrition when you're playing against these best players. You're, it's, it's pretty tough to win 3v3s and not lose a single player. All right, sweet. So the second one we're looking at is actually from my editor, John. Longtime friend growing up. We played Halo together, Call of Duty together. The guy was an absolute demon. And unfortunately, I've spent all of my free time gaming. And uh, now he's spent all of his free time editing for me. And so his gameplay has improved a lot. So we're watching him in an in-game scenario. There's 12 players left. He's playing solos. He's got four kills to his Enemy name. And we're going to be checking it out. So first things I'll point out. Uh, looks like you're using the fast mag right there for the MAC-10. If you use a drum mag, it doesn't affect your aim down sight. The fast mag does affect your aim down sight. The rest of the build looks great. Uh, if you could, I would get a blueprint that has a thinner iron sight on the MAC-10 just because it's a little bit cleaner. But uh, outside of that, only thing I would change up is that uh, drum mag. Making a good rotation here. We've got the the our back to the gas. So for me, it's a little bit risky, but I would probably opt to rotate in because as you rotate out, you're going to be line of sight by people potentially on this roof and potentially in here with that gas on your back. I would much rather work my way inside and then have these little pockets that I can hold on the inside because uh, it's really going to be tough if you get caught out here on the outside. Enemy UAV nice! Okay, yeah, it looks like that's exactly what you end up doing. Really smart play. You've got to... As you clear these corners, though, nice job. I would either encourage you to up your sensitivity or just get better at, like, when you chow this corner, it is not a walk. It is a jump chow or it is a slide chow. Clear that right corner hard and then instantly clear that left corner card. It is it corner hard. It is in-game... In solos, you got to expect campers to be everywhere. Hey, there you go. There you cleared it out. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Isn't Pork? Isn't Pork like a pro? It's Pork? Or like a... Like he's, he's like a... I'm pretty sure that's like a... I might be thinking of someone else. Either way, really nice kill there. Almost got caught with that gas mask animation. 
Hit fire, though, on the MAC-10. Hold it off. Okay, right here, I would never stand still for too long. My focus would be on the rooftop. And then as you're wrapping in, I would check... Sa same people. As you're wrapping in, I would just do little jump checks of guys who are making that exact same rotation. Because if you see someone, you don't want to chow them right here in the middle of the street. But if you see someone over here, you beeline to this corner right here and then try to beam them as they're crossing. Okay, you're you're literally on top of everything. I'm just I'm just one second ahead of you. Nice. You spot that guy on the wall. Good shots. Nice. Good beam. Stoner is still absolutely insane. Okay, now you got to th be thinking where is your next rotation? Where are you going to hide? Okay, you got some options. My personal first pick would probably be in this little courtyard right here. Um, or you could wrap aggressively across because most likely the zone's going to close further in there anyways. Be very, very careful as you're rotating here. You're expecting a lot of people to be on your lower left as you're making this rotation, right? Because all those people from Promenade, we haven't cleared out all those people that could be coming up that hillside on you any second. Looks like you're keeping it in your cross check. You might just do a quick peek over. Love that. Now you determine, hey, you've got this low ground. Not the worst place in the world to be. I like these rotations. I like the intentional clearing. Keep an eye on the rooftops. I don't know if you saw that, but there was a guy right there that just jumped onto the high ground. So if that's me, I'm going to try to hug closer to the walls of the high ground where he can't peek over me, right? Because it's a lot easier to spot someone who's right here where you are than it is right against that wall. He would really have to peek over the top and overexpose himself. Get up top, you've got one stun grenade, two Simtexes. Pulls out the baby monitor. Nothing wrong with that. And here, I honestly would just call this no man's land. I, I really don't like where you are, and I wouldn't spend a lot of time here. I think you need to make a decision pretty quickly to either take one of the two corners and hold those corners aggressively. Because now, at any point, if someone comes through here... You can swing back around the corner and vice versa. If someone comes around the other corner, you can swing. Whereas if you're sitting right here, you can get caught. Like you can prone out behind that little footstool or that those those stairs. But this is a much stronger position to be. Nice. Only five left. And honestly, I'm always I'm always jiggling. I'm always, always, always jiggling. Because there's always a possibility that someone could be peeking me. Nice job holding this angle. Picky keys. Yep. And that's just what I would do, man. Non-stop that. Then there. Then back. Then there. Then back. Then there. There's also the issue of dead silence. You have to keep an eye out for that as well. Looks like you can continue to hold that angle. And now you... Now you don't really know where you need to be next. I, I don't hate this play this much, but if you lose your gunfight here, like there, there's no finesse, there's no outplay. So one thing you could possibly do if you're going to play like this is you could prone out right next to this piece of cover. It may, it's going to make you a little bit hard if you're already next to something built up, whereas this is all flat. And if you're here, you're kind of going to stick out a little bit. You could actually hide behind that bush and it might give you a little bit more concealment, not necessarily hard cover. One minute. Here's some shots up to your right, possibly above you. Gas is moving in. And you get the perfect, located. perfect zone pull. Gas is moving. Here, I instantly rotate. The second, the second, literally the millisecond that that corner becomes available again, I'm dropping everything I'm doing and I'm getting over there. Even faster than what you did. Those... Throws down a muni box. Bring it down an airstrike. Oh, no, that's such a good idea. I think you fat fingered the muni box. Bring it down an airstrike. You can hit the muni box, get get an extra Strike stun. Good copy. Strike I love the idea of putting up an airstrike up there, but keep in mind while that airstrike is going off, all of this is still safe, so they can just back up and still keep that high ground. If you would have waited about another 15 seconds, you would have been able to get a kill either by them being up there or by them mantling over and getting the easy mantle kill. Okay, 
I like where your head's at, but just once again, you're you're putting yourself constantly in positions where if you were to get child, it becomes a 50-50 gunfight with no room for finesse. Okay. I mean, you you could have possibly swung out here. I I, I no hits. The issue is. I mean, may, like maybe you could have held over here, but you don't want to expose yourself to a top line of sight, right? From the from the top of this rooftop down to you. But I'm just really worried because where you keep positioning yourself right now is if someone swings a corner and they're most likely going to be swinging a corner and getting Peeker's advantage, they're going to have a really strong like chance of winning the gunfight. No hits on that run. Bought that guy on your top right. Really nice snap. Good kill. And if I'm you, I'm instantly proning and trying to play. Because you did see someone right here. Prone. Take yourself away from that angle. You're playing this very meticulous. But as with all things in-game, it's, it's pretty freaky. Shot in the back. The other guy saves your life. You got a full gas mask. If I'm you, I'm plating up. And I'm swinging. And I'm holding the high ground. Yep. So, okay, let me let me talk to this real quick. The reason why, right, when, when you pop that, this guy up here is going to is going to hear you. So I would much rather have you change angles from where he last heard you and try to just swing wide to get a different piece of cover, especially when you have a full gas mask. Alternative there is you could have gone up these stairs and used them for cover with a full gas mask. That guy ends up using a tree for cover, and you somehow absolutely gun the guy. It's a 1v1. So you can definitely just push him. Holy. Okay, dude, honestly, like, super good gun skill. You're gunning everyone. You're just putting yourselves in a lot of positions where you don't have room for finesse. Whether it was... Right, whether it was when you were kind of, like, posted up right here on those stairs. Um, whether it was when you were proned out right here. Whether it was when you were back again, just kind of like laying down, right? Those are the stairs. All of those were like 50-50 gunfights that you very easily could have lost. Now, I know from looking through the videos, we're once again looking at John, but it's not a win. It's somewhere where he ended up losing, uh, and we're, we're going to try to figure out what he could have done better. So, we're in farmland. It, it looks like you follow the pinwheel rotation like pretty religiously, which I love, but I'm noticing a trend... If you, if you go back and watch the OG pinwheel rotation, we talk about wanting to have like 15 to 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds of buffer. If we're doing the pinwheel, I would prefer that you're like inside of the zone. That way, if you get shot, you have time to plate up, take a breather, figure out how you're going to adjust your rotation, and you're not sitting with the back on your zone, and you're instantly getting ticked by the gas. So just keep that in mind. Try to be a little bit earlier on that rotation. You can still catch that guy. But you know, you could maybe be out in the trees. You can be out up further. But that's the purpose of the pinwheel is we're trying to catch those guys. So let's say we start shooting at him and he's right next to a piece of cover. He gets down. Now, all of a sudden, you're getting gate kept. The pinwheel is not supposed to get you gate kept. It's supposed to allow you to gate keep other people. So be a little bit more ahead of the zone. 60. Really good shots, though. Love that you're bringing back the XM4. Nine. I mean, the old school M4. 14. Enemy UAV on the 22. Five. Using this for information. 18. I don't know what 18. your secondary gun is, but I Seven. definitely would not be clearing out with an M4. 11. Other thing. Fix your centering. Always have your crosshair where you expect your enemy to be unless you're displacing your crosshair for information. So we saw with bread, we were expecting on that wall, remember what bread clutched with the sniper? We were expecting an enemy to peek right here. But Brett didn't have his crosshair right there, right? Because he wanted to keep this within his field of view in case someone peeked there. So he put his crosshair like right here so he could see both. You, on the other hand, you're not worried about anything over here. Your crosshair should be up where you expect an enemy to chow at any moment. 14. Like this. My crosshair is up here. Like where I expect Two. someone to come down the stairs. Right? Crosshair placement. Cro 12. Three. And you see the laser. I don't know if you guys can see that on Twitch. You can see the laser coming through right there. Three. 
So you've got one of two options. You can either child this like a maniac, or he likely hasn't heard you. You can just go ahead and pre-aim. Okay. So, crouching, slow crouching, none of them make any noise. Aim down sight. Walking doesn't make any noise. If you're trying to move faster, just full crouch, deflect. Or you can stand up and aim down sight and move over that way. Me personally, I would just stay crouched and aim down sight and walk over because this is going to provide a nice head glitch for you. By you standing up, you're actually going to expose yourself to more angles than you need to. And in that moment right there, right here, you're actually making noise if you're walking before you're aimed down sight. Really nice job, though. You deduce where he is. Get the kill. Oh, you had a car. Okay, that explains it. So, XM4, MP7. These may or may not be your guns. But, like, start rotating. Like, now. Now. Like, that That gas is on your cheeks. You're going to get the gas mask animation going nonstop when you really need it. And me personally, I would cut left, and I would use this entire ridge line, right? So we have a ridge line that exposes us to angles that are down here, and it also exposes us to angles that are down here. But if we get shot by one or the other, we can use that hard terrain as cover. For you right now, it looks like you're kind of rotating in, and this is just crazy, crazy no man's land where people are going to be like coming right around corners of buildings, and those fights are really tough to take. Right, if someone comes out of that garage, if someone's on the other side of this building, you don't have much room. And I like the space you're building from the gas, but there it is. Make sure you're running with your MP7 out. Nice job. Spot a guy below you. Look to your long-range weapon. Really nice kill. I would be a little bit more intentional right here. Anytime, anytime you're like in between pieces of cover, try to push forward, even if it's a really thin piece of cover like this. But it looks like, and I may have to have John zoom in here, you can see someone jumping across right here. That's a person running to cover. John, you're waiting too long. Get to a piece of cover, Jonathan. Okay, as soon as you're here, right, you see him, you get a couple good shots on him, and you know he kind of goes behind hard cover. I would take this moment and just transition to a better piece of cover because he's going to be able to shoot you with that thin of a tree, probably even if you're hiding behind it perfectly. So what I would do is while he's behind here, I would just instantly tack sprint over and either use this tree or more than likely these loadout boxes. But this zone is on your cheeks, man. You do not have time to wait. You either need to ego child the crap out of this and take a gunfight, or you just need to work to your next piece of cover that's going to be safe in the next zone. Looks like you were trying to put in, it says airspace too crowded. You wanted to use that airstrike to push him out of the cover. Unlucky there. You can actually see the glint. He's off to the right side of that rock. You get behind cover. Nice little job. Just doing a little bit of, little bit of jiggle peeks there. I'm surprised he can't see you. He starts stunning. Okay, and then from here, you just gotta like, swing. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Pretty. I'm, I'm looking at chat right now. Pretty much just, as soon as he was put there, there was nothing else he could have done. Like, you were you were screwed. Gas to your back. He's got a sniper. He's got a stun. You're, you're, you're done at that point. Well, he couldn't have thrown... He couldn't have thrown the airstrike. Someone said they would have thrown the airstrike. Look. Right there, when he got the armor, airspace is too crowded. He's trying to throw an airstrike, but someone else is already throwing an airstrike. So he had the right idea. He just couldn't. And so it's like, from that moment, he's got to have contingency plans. He's like, boom, I'm going to push him out of that cover. Shit, I can't. And then it's like, uh, f And then he peeks out the other side, and he just, he just, he can't do anything. And so from right here, I'm getting in one plate, two plate, and then I'm instantly swinging. Right now, I am full sprint. Honestly, you probably would have gotten stunned there anyways if you were would have been in a full sprint. Probably would have died right there, but it's the intent. Okay, boom. I'm stunned. Shit, get in cover, get in cover, get in cover. Well, now you kind of overexpose yourself. You get one plate off, and then all you can do at this point is either sprint for the cover or ego child like a maniac and try to down him. There's literally no two other options. Sitting here and waiting is 100% death. <laughs> Period. Like, you're dead. 100%. Every single time. I don't know if you're looking for stims. If you're looking for a gas mask, which would be bouncing, you wouldn't be able to pick it up. Unlucky.
Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to catch this gameplay review live, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. On top of this, if you want your gameplay review, check out the Discord in the description. You can submit gameplay like here. In these videos, we're going to be pulling off a couple good game, late game clutches. We're going to be pulling off a couple, you know, ones for me, a couple fails. Also, you can take things to learn from the Academy. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And shout out to the editor, John, for submitting his gameplay. Uh, feels weird to review my best friend's gameplay, but I uh, hope you appreciated it, man. Catch you all in the next video. Peace.